these are some parties you do not want to miss out on. Hey guys, it's Phoebe with Ms. Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 craziest My Super Sweet 16 parties. My main focus is making sure I have the most epic party that Atlanta has ever seen. We're taking a look at the most insane parties to ever feature on this MTV show, which you'd probably love to attend. Let's get to it. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out Sound Mojo's latest artist, Domenica D. Find the link in the description below. If somehow you knew that your love could make a fool of me, tell me, baby, what would you do? Number 10, Lacey. I'm so nervous. Like all good sweet 16ers, Lacey wants her party to be all about her, so she starts her own carnival and dubs it Laceyland. Everything in this episode is elaborate, but it all fades into the background when Lacey makes her grand entrance, dressed like a Vegas showgirl and riding in on an elephant. <laughs> Lacey looks so sexy. A herd of elephants walking through Ohio has to be seen to be believed, and the guests love it. The is amazing. The food is even better. When they have to get to the fair itself, which includes performances with live tigers, it's clear that this party is one for the ages. And of course, she gets the Land Rover of her dreams at the end. Number 9, Michaela. I don't know where the heck you're getting these ideas at. That I'm a teenager. I don't care what my dad says. It's my 16th birthday party. It has to be perfect. This country girl knows exactly what she wants from her eclectic Western glam themed bash. Western glam! Yeah! A decent chunk of her episode is spent finding an entourage of hot cowboys to show off at the event, as well as making her friends pose for a calendar she wants to give out to guests. God bless the USA. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. And speaking of the guests, when they do arrive, they're all decked out in denim, Stetsons, and plenty of plaid. She and her friends make their entrance in a parade with a horseback Michaela at the front and a truckload of hay bales and backflipping cowboys at the rear. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Number eight, Savannah. My dad is a game hunter and I love exotic animals. So my party is gonna be jungle themed, complete with live animals. Inspired by her dad's room full of hunting trophies, Savannah decides she wants a jungle themed party. Only she wants her animals to be alive rather than stuffed and mounted on a wall. Jungle awesome. themed's crazy. Yes, yes. She likes the tigers, but decides that another big cat is what she really needs, and convinces her mom to hire the puma to attend. This is so jungly. There's no way you could say no. The party itself is overrun by animals and more than a few party crashers who are desperate to get in. This guy just getting out. Hey, uh, Party. Along with the monkeys and talented live performers, even her uninvited guests don't ruin Savannah's wild night. You cannot top this party. It was amazing. Number seven, Katie. I want it to be like a candy land, tons of Christmas trees. Now, where can those go? Despite the weather in Memphis never bringing much snow and ice, Katie decides she's going to throw a Christmas themed winter wonderland extravaganza. Can they do snow inside or would it be too cold? She won't settle for anything less than a snowy, candy filled celebration. Though her party planner is preoccupied with her hunt for the perfect sleigh, but even with all this decoration, Katie does manage to capture the spirit of Christmas in a meaningful way. Oh my god, it's beautiful in here! She asks her guests not to get her any gifts, but to bring toys instead, which she'll donate to kids in need. It's Christmas time, time for giving, so for a party, you have to bring a present for toys for Tot. I saw the Santa over there. Do you think he would come to the party? Number six, Quincy. Let's party! As Diddy's stepson, Quincy has a lot to live up to where his 16th birthday party is concerned, so it's only natural he roped MTV in to film the whole thing. One, two, three! He even makes a radio appearance to hype up the event, expressing his intention to throw the best party Atlanta has ever seen. And he delivers. What what are your wishes? Everything, you know, red carpet, paparazzi, it's like no limits what I'm doing. After arriving with supermodel Lauren London on his arm, Quincy gets started by hosting and judging an impressive dance competition. 
Not all the music giants he wanted to attend could be there, no Soulja Boy, Lil Wayne, and Jay-Z, but they do send in video messages that make the crowd go wild. I'm coming to see you after Jay. Heard you having a fantastic time in Atlanta. I wish I could be there. Alright, good luck. Enjoy your party. Number 5. Allison. It's hard to say which episode has the weirdest theme, but Allison's military party is certainly a contender. The army isn't exactly something you associate with letting loose and having fun, but it somehow all comes together with more than a few memorable moments even after a dramatic setback. The Hummers are late and I am very angry because they throw everything off and I'm in a rush to get there. With Allison trapped at home waiting for her ride, her elaborate volcano cake starts spewing smoke too early, and the fire department gets called. It looks so nice, I like the smoke. Thankfully, the show is allowed to go on, and Allison finally makes her debut in an iconic red Hummer, with a pair of super soldiers on her arms. Number 4, Diamond. Do not drop me, I'm suing you all. Hit that it is, it came as no surprise when MTV rebooted My Super Sweet 16 after a few years off the air. Gracing the stage of the first revamped episode is Florida-based YouTuber Diamond, who begins season 10 in style. While performing a dance routine for her friends is par for the course for Sweet Sixteeners, Diamond pulls out all the stops for her grand entrance, flying in by helicopter nonetheless. <laughs> doesn't go as planned because of her mom's disapproval and the area being deemed a no-fly zone because of repeated visits by President Trump. There might be some issues with the helicopter. If the president's in town, it's no-fly zone for security, so you, we may not be able to get that. But thankfully, her high-flying dream comes true and she lands with a bang. <laughs> Number 3, Regine Carter. Hey, I'm Regine Carter, and yes, I am the one and only daughter of Lil Wayne. When Lil Wayne's only daughter turned 16, you know MTV had to get involved, and they were there every step of the way with the classic formula. And what about so, it? So, I mean, what? I know I did the whole horse and carriage last year, but we're gonna turn it up and we're gonna make white horses. No expense is spared for Regine's birthday, although there's plenty of pre-party drama to keep tensions high, namely the love triangle between one of her friends and her ex-boyfriend. Ooh, is that Neyance? So give us a sneak peek of this. Yeah. But the party itself is still the blowout bash you'd expect it to be, with Wheezy getting her the best of everything. By far the greatest moment is when Nicki Minaj makes a surprise appearance after very nearly missing her connecting flight. Number 2, Demetrius. Here we go. Famous parents abound on My Super Sweet 16, and Timbaland wasn't going to be outdone by the other big names whose kids have appeared on the show. Do you like it? <laughs> The lead up to the party is a little tense, especially when Demetrius outright hates the truck his dad originally gets him. If you're smart, <laughs> you'll take it. I'll never get any girls in that beat up truck. If my dad doesn't give me a better car for my birthday, I'm going to be shooting. But when the big night rolls around, Timbaland has invested in an array of belly dancers and a couple of tigers for good measure. If that's not enough, the musical guest at the episode's end turns out to be Flo Rida, and he makes not one, but two big entrances. Hey, if I were Timbaland's son, I would also freak out if he didn't get me the exact car that I wanted. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Guess what, bitches? It's my real Good luck trying to top my party because it's not gonna happen. One, it's gonna be pretty hard to get all those performers. Two, it's gonna be pretty hard to show up in a car like that. And three, it's gonna be really hard to dress like me because it just just that just doesn't happen. I thought she was gonna get a car, but I guess she can ride the zebra horse too. I love its face, it's the cutest face. 
I wish I had a Zorus. I want a Zorus. I was shocked to get a Zorus as my birthday present. She looks like the luckiest girl in the world. Are you kidding me? I feel like a star. I'm getting so much attention. Everybody's looking at me. It's truly my night. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Tiana Taylor I'm really disappointed I don't have my skateboard ramp, so now my entrance got to be fresh. She'd just broken onto the music scene in a big way after working with Beyonce and then getting signed by Pharrell Williams, who puts in an appearance at her party, but receives her first spell of national attention during her stint on My Super Sweet 16. We're here to celebrate Tiana's birthday. Yeah. She has one of the coolest entrances the show has ever seen. She looks beautiful. She looks beautiful. She looks like a Barbie doll. It's so pretty. Trapped inside a plastic box like a life-size Barbie doll, Tiana is carried into the room following a slew of impressive performances from drummers and dancers. Tiana's party goes down in history as one of the most lavish and successful ever seen on MTV. This cake is crazy. This is the dopest cake I ever seen. Nicki Minaj was also at my sweet 16 party. In my dreams, what'd you guys think of the list? Let us know in the comments or tweet me at Phoebe underscore WM. And don't forget to check out this video. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.